Hey, what's going on? This is me, Ario D. Juice from WokeNations.com. Much love to you. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this episode of the podcast. Um, also, be sure to log on to the website, which is WokeNations.com, where you could become a member of the email newsletter. And I highly suggest and recommend that you become a member today because this is the best way to stay up to date with this YouTube channel, the podcast, obviously, and myself. So, definitely um, hit the box below where I'll leave the link of the website. Go on the website to search to where to become a member of the email newsletter. It's a one page website. It's super easy to find. You cannot miss it. It's like it's one page, literally. And become a member of the email newsletter. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this episode today, which is um, the title of this video. You read it and you know what you're here for. And uh, it's basically a lot of people, including myself, very much believe that just pearly things is definitely the new kevin samuels now some people may feel offended by me saying that because she's not a dark-skinned person and she's a caucasian female and by me stating that she is the new kevin samuels and this 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 successful individual kevin samuels is a dark-skinned man so some people may feel a little offended by me saying that, but whatever, that's their opinion. It's all good. But to me and a lot of other people, she definitely is the hottest thing in the manosphere right now. And again, this pisses a lot of people off. <laughs> this pisses a whole lot of people off. The fact that she is the complete opposite of a dark skin. I'm sorry, AKA a, a black person. She is the complete opposite of, you know, these people. Now, um, you say these people. Well, I say these people because I don't really see myself as a black person anymore. I don't really identify as that. But that's a whole other topic. That doesn't even matter right now. The fact that she is the hottest thing in the manosphere. She is a Caucasian young woman. And that, again, pisses a lot of people off, such as a lot of so-called black content creators on this um, this platform. YouTube, it really boils their blood. You may ask why. And I did a video about this a few days ago. I think Friday it was released, last Friday. I put out a video or an episode of this podcast where I was outside talking and I was saying that a lot of so-called black content creators or just black people in general, the viewers, a lot of you cannot stand the fact that this woman, this Caucasian woman, this white woman <laughs> is so successful that like she's famous, basically, and she's making a lot of money exploiting black people issues. A lot of you cannot stand that she is. She's experiencing all this success. You don't like it. You do. You do not like it. And I've already spoke about why you don't like it. Why many of you have this issue with her you know, in this position that she's in. And it's basically of jealousy. It's not rocket science. There's no need to go back and forth. There's no argument. It's very like cut and dry. Like be honest with yourself. You don't like this woman simply because she's a white young woman making more money than you. Let's just let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade, right? And I feel like the, the sooner you could be honest with yourself about you, you know, having this issue with her, I think your life would be better off because now you're honest with yourself. You don't like just pearly things because she's successful and you're not. What's even worse is she's a, a Caucasian woman on YouTube, just like you, um, maybe a so-called black person. And you're making maybe not even a third of what she's making. And you're talking about the same exact thing. That's my wife making all that noise. She's trying to find her purse. Excuse all that noise. Um, yeah. Just my opinion. I don't know everything. I don't. But uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not, but I love you. I, um, <laughs> you just, I, you just have to be real with yourself to just move on with your life. You, you have a problem with white people talking about black people issues and then they make money in return of them doing these things and you can't do what they do and you're a so-called black person and you're not making or you're not gaining the amount of fame that they're experiencing 
that really makes you mad, that makes you envious or jealous. A lot of you are like this. I'm just the opposite because I'm not choosing sides here. I'm not choosing her side or, you know, black content creator, black content creator sides. I'm not choosing any sides. I'm just seeing exactly what's going on here. Because to me, um, Judge Pearly things, again, is the hottest figure in the manosphere. She is one, she is has to be top three. She is to me, maybe after Kevin Samuel, she's number she is number one right now. After Kevin Samuel passed away, rest in peace, she took his spot. She literally took his spot. Because the minute you talk about the manosphere, you're gonna find her content first. You're gonna find her content first. And it's good content. It's not like it's bad. It's really good material. You know, I'm just I'm just a fan of good work. I don't care where it comes from. I, I, don't, I don't care what, what race. I don't care. I love good content. And that's what she provides. A lot of the other content creators like Anton Daniels, he puts out great content too. I'm a fan of his work, right? Not because he's a black man. I just love the stuff that he talks about. It's, it's stuff that I can relate to. A lot of things I understand what he's talking about and I can relate to it. He doesn't care about skin color like as much as the typical black person does. He's not so caught up in the whole pro black stuff like your 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 con artist type people such as Umar Johnson. Yeah, he's a con artist to me. Straight up he's the guy's a successful con artist. He knows exactly how to get money out of people, so called black people, and <laughs> he does a great job at that. But that's a different topic. But I, I love good material. Bye. Love you. All right. Bye. Um, yeah, he, it's just I love good material and I will listen and consume information from specific people who provide good content, stuff that, you know, I can benefit from the information that they share. I benefit from. So the information that, you know, for example, Anton Daniel shares I benefit from that. I listen and I actually, you know, do the work and I see great results. The same for just pearly things. Some of her material I understand. And it's like it, it, it makes me think it, it, it just helps me think deeper about a lot of different topics and issues. And had it not been her topics or her, you know, her videos, you know, again, I just I gain value from her material sometimes. I just don't care about skin color, man. I, I don't I don't get caught up in the stupid stuff. And it, it really is stupid to me. The whole skin color thing. I'm black and I'm white. I think it's stupid. I think it's I think it's key. It keeps people in this in this low state of being angry and being miserable all the time because you're so you're so caught up in the wrong fight, which is race. Race wars to me is a it's, it's a distraction. And this is this is kind of off topic, but it goes deep. But I'm not part of this 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 whole race war thing because it, it makes me I feel like I'm just in this low state all the time where I'm just going to judge people based off what they of, 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 of their parents. And I already know who they are. And that's crazy because you don't know that person whatsoever because of their skin color. That that to me is you. Um, what's the word? It's just judging somebody, basically, and know nothing about that person until uh, you all you see is skin color. And that's all you go off of. And you kind of use that to determine their like who they are as a people. Like you feel like their skin color affects their intelligence, right? When it's, it just doesn't, it's just the dumbest thing in the world that people actually believe and follow that skin color actually, you know, has some type of effect on that individual's intelligence when it just does not have any type of effect at all. It's just someone's skin color. But again, it's just stupid things that people believe and they follow and that becomes part of their truth. And that's why, a lot of people are so not a fan of just pearly things because of her skin color, bro. They're not going to say that. You know, ask any black content creator, they won't ever say that. They'll just say, oh, you know, she's exploiting black people. Then my, my thing is, if that's if that were the case, and I said this before, you have such a problem with just pearly things, then how come you're not, you know, giving all the smoke to people like Jerry Springer or Maury. Now you may say these are older people. This is that's the past. It's the same thing, dude. They made it, they made a career out of the out of doing this. They've had seasons, seasons of them putting out this type of material, basically 
you know, having black people come on the air and embarrass themselves. You're not the father. He's not the baby daddy. You know, all, all this kind of like ratchet BS, you know, you, no smoke for them. And you may say, again, these are older, you know, Caucasian people. And those are older shows that doesn't really matter in today's world. 2023, that's like 90s, right? Well, OK, let's 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 make let's give a present example then. VH1, Love and Hip Hop. VH1 isn't owned by dark skinned people. It's owned by white people. So is BET. And both these networks exploit black people all the time. Have you seen Love and Hip Hop? Have you seen Love and Hip Hop show? I hate that show. I hate it because it's ratchet. I hate what I, I've seen some here and there episodes and I wasn't a fan. Haven't watched this since. But that network, VH1, exploits black people. You see the fights. You see how they talk. They're ghetto. Don't know how to behave in public. Fighting all the time. Arguing. You know, just drama. That's exploitation. Right? If you want present exploitation, there's your present time. VH1, Love and Hip Hop. And that's a big show. Let's, let's keep going. Record labels. Exploiting black people. The rappers. You know, how they talk. King Von killing black people. Like hit songs are about killing black. Like exploitation all day. He gets no smoke. I'm sorry, not King Von, but the record labels that they're owned by Caucasian people. They get no smoke. They, they, none. <laughs> Zero. All the attention is on this one girl or this one woman because you're just jealous of her. You, you're, just, you're just jealous that you're, it's, not, it's not you in her position as a so-called black person you're just envious of this woman's this woman's success give the smoke to everybody not just her right i mean call out everybody that's doing what she's doing exploiting black people i mean even black people exploit black people is exploiting okay in general is that even okay to do is exploiting people for profit okay is that something is, is that something positive exploiting because black people do it all the time to black people all the time. Have you seen TikTok? Have you seen some TikToks before? Nothing but exploitation of, but because it's a black person, it, it, it gets a pass. You know, again, I'm not with the whole race thing. I think it's just, to me, anyone that's still caught up on race wars, to me, are just pathetic. Anyone that's so stuck on slavery, which I think never happened, it was just pathetic. Yeah, I don't think slavery really happened. I don't think someone, I'm so off topic. <laughs> I'm like way off topic, but I don't believe a bunch of white people, you know, had uh, this this like giant wooden boats that were sailing across the treacherous ocean, you know, with millions of bodies. Oh, no, I don't say millions, but with, with thousands of bodies on these boats packed as sardines. And they brought these people over to this country like they they, they, they knew exactly where to go with these wooden boats. Right. And have you ever seen the ocean at night? Have you ever seen just go on TikTok or whatever video and just put in cruise ship at night and see how dark it is. See how I mean, pitch black. You're trying to tell me these these wooden boats from the 1600s or 1700s. Right. They knew exactly where to go with no type of technology back then. They knew exactly where to go to get like a bunch of times back and forth to Africa to America back and forth right they knew exactly where to go to bring these people on to to, to this different to a different you know land or country like it's really difficult to do something like that to bring that many people over to another continent on a wooden boat you know they probably went through some crazy storms out there have you ever seen how the ocean is in a storm like Bro, this is why I, I, I don't believe half the crap that's been taught to us as children. I'm, again, I'm so way off topic, but it goes really deep. It, 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 just by me saying slavery to me could be a myth to keep you in a low state because you have to really you have to be a crit in today's world. It is really important to be a critical thinker so they don't have you become this angry, miserable person, not enjoying your life and meeting new people and doing and starting new relationships. All you know is what's, what's been taught to you by the school system. This is all you know. They told you that you were you come from a bunch of slaves and these people were nothing but low class people. They had nothing. 
My thing is this. Have you ever done your own research to figure out or to see if this is valid information? Have you ever done this before? A lot of you have not done this. I, I actually have done this. And that's why I, I, I could sit here and tell you slavery is not what you think it was. What, what, was, what was sold to you in school systems or in movies isn't what really happened. Like that is not reality. That it was just a movie. But the whole point, the real point is to keep it in the low state of anger and jealousy and being miserable and be and just ha- just being a low state at all times. By you being that, believe it or not, you being in that low state of ignorance is a big booming business. Because if you think you're a black person, you come from nothing and you're always mad because of racism and all this crap, you're going to be a very angry person. And that can get you in a lot of trouble with the law, right? And that gets you a lot of trouble with your health because you're always miserable. You're not enjoying your life. You're not, you're not, you're not just, you're not having fun. You're not, you're not exploring discovery. You're in, you're in this little box of a black person, oppression, I need reparations, someone come and save me, victim. That's, that's the typical black person to me. A low state. So again, I'm off topic. I'm way off topic. I'm so sorry, but this goes really deep. And this is why I very much believe slavery was a myth, right? It it, it never happened. So when people talk about just probably things being, you know, her exploiting black people and all this crap, and sometimes they'll talk about, I think there, there's some episode we should talk about slavery and people got offended because she's a white person. Again, you were never a slave. You are not there. You're, you are here today. This is, to me, one of the easiest times to become successful. Anybody can start a YouTube channel. Anybody can learn a new skill. And anybody, you, have all the, you have all the information in your fingertips. You can do this. The issue is you're just not going to do it because you don't want to do the work. Because it requires work. And, and, and that term work scares a lot of people. Right? Working scares people that means you have to actually you have to physically do something to make something happen so working out scares people because you have to physically lift a, some some kind of iron or whatever and push-ups and you know it's hard it, it's a challenge and because you're so weak you can't do it you look for excuses because you're this pathetic person looking for for someone to save you you're in that low state no one's gonna save you No one cares about you like that. Everything is on you. If you want it that bad, work at it. It requires work. And to me, that's a great thing. That's going to make you become disciplined. That's going to help you realize, okay, this is like this, like this is meaningful to me because I have to put in the work. I have to pay for something. Like I'm, I'm really doing this and you might appreciate it more because you have to physically do it. No one's going to save you, but yourself. But because you're in that low state, you're looking for a savior every single time because you're a black person from slavery, not from slavery, but you come from that world of, oh, my ancestors were slavery. Someone has to come save me. Someone 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 has to give me money because of what you did back then. They're not going to give you anything. Nothing. Because it never even happened. Nobody bought a bunch of people across the ocean to come over here. It never happened. We were always here. Black people are always here. Way off topic. I'm just trying to really shine the light on the fact of a lot of you are just bitter about just pearly things. Her success makes you mad. To me, to me, I feel like you should be the opposite. Why not do what she's doing, but do it 10 times better? Learn her, her system. Learn from her. Learn something from her that you can take away to build your own thing. Instead of become jealousy and mad and angry, that's just a pathetic. This is why I just don't get on with a lot of black people. Because to me, a lot of them are just pathetic ass people. Nothing but a bunch of crybabies. A bunch of you are just, you're just a bunch of, all you have is slavery. Oh, someone, someone made me a slave. You know, I come from, I come from that. Somebody owe me something. Woe is me. Who's going to save me? You know, I mean, pathetic and i'm like this because i know people can do this but you're so stuck on this low state of mind of of thinking like (laughs) the whole world is against you no one really cares about you really people do not like losers no one wants to be around a bunch of losers and the losers are the ones that are always complaining and looking for a savior or some type of a savior those to me that to me are a bunch of losers 
looking for a handout, always looking for someone to save them, and always trying to play victim. That's a loser. Oh, the opposite is someone that puts in the work. So what if I had challenges? So what if something was if you know something is against me or oppression? That may be true. Let that be your fuel of work, putting in the work. Let that motivate you to put in some more work, to not be a victim, to just go get it yourself and not owe anyone anything. Let that let that help you become a, a stronger person and not be in this low state of mind, but the opposite. No, instead, I'm going to be mad and play victim. Somebody owes me money. Let me go talk to Umar Johnson and pro-black this and pro-black that and be always against white people. And there are, they, they hate us and racism and pathetic. But yeah, <laughs> super off top in this episode. But um, I'm just really passionate about this type of information because again, it's, it's, um, it's just really me promoting you to be a, a, a critical thinker. That's really, you know, what I'm trying to say in this video. I, I really pray to God the takeaway you get from this this episode is critical thinking. I, I cannot stress to you enough how adopting that type of mindset will put you in a better position in life because you know what's going on. No one's saying something to you. No one's, you know, giving you their opinion and you know, you have your own bias. Like every, every, everyone has their own, like bi everyone is biased. Right? Everyone, everyone is biased. Somebody told you something. Maybe your parents taught you it. Maybe you watched a movie. You read a book. You saw a TikTok and whatever information that person or people or source, you know, you 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 consumed from that whatever source. That became your truth, and now you're just vomiting what you've been what 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 you heard from somebody else. Not once did you do your own research. You just took whatever was given to you by your parents, your school, education system, a video on YouTube, a book, a movie, and that became your reality. To me, that's dumb, right? Question everything. Question what I'm saying to you. Question my opinions in this video or this episode. Question what I'm saying to you and go see if it's accurate. That's critical thinking. Question everything you've ever been taught about food, Health, fitness, finance, relationship, history, question, everything. This is the this is by far and I'm off topic again, but this is by far one of the most responsible and important things you can do in your life is questioning every single thing you've been taught by some other source. It will only benefit you by seeking truth, and also you might find a solution or solutions or options that were never given to that you may also adopt that may better your life. I hope I'm making sense. Become a critical thinker. Stop with the whole race wars. It's only for pathetic people. Anyone who's still stuck on race wars are just pathetic. They're ignorant. They're dumb. They don't know any better. They're stuck on the, the <laughs> it's like they're trying to, like they're stuck on the wrong fight basically, right? That makes sense. They're, they're stuck on the wrong fight. Race wars and racism is the wrong fight. It's about class. It is about class. I said this many times years ago. It's about class. But it's more about you become a critical thinker to understand this information. Think for yourself. You have a brain. Use it and really take control of your life and not let anyone think for you because that's what they do. Media and government, they're here to think for you. They tell you what to do. Silently, they tell you what to do. By just putting out stories on TV or whatever, they actually control your your reality. Whatever they say becomes your truth. That's control. You never not once. I mean, you know, uh, uh, question what they're saying if it's valid or not. But back to topic. Just probably things is the new Kevin Samuels. She's making money. She's successful, and you don't like her because she's a white woman. That's it. You don't like the fact that she makes more money than you, and she's talking about black people problems. <laughs> and she's making more money than you. That's why some black content creators do not like just pretty things. But let me get up out of here. Much love to you. I got some stuff to do. So run some errands and um, enjoy the rest of my day. So much love to you. Again, become a member to the email newsletter. It's in the awokenations.com website. I'll leave the link down below in this video, the box, and do that. So catch you on the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. And please practice critical thinking. Do it.